Liberals will freak out after learning who got arrested at border from invasion caravan. Border Patrol agents arrested a convicted murderer from Honduras Saturday night after he illegally entered the United States with other members of the migrant caravan. On 24 November, around 11 p.m., agents detected three people crossing the border illegally approximately one mile east of the San Isidro port of entry. Agents responded, arrested the three men and transported them to a nearby border patrol station for processing. At the station, agents discovered documents indicating one of the men, 46-year-old Miguel Angel Ramirez, was recently released from prison in Honduras. Ramirez later admitted he was arrested and convicted for murder in Honduras and was released just four months ago. The San Diego Sector Border Patrol's Foreign Operations Branch corroborated the man's admission with the Honduran Consulate in Los Angeles and discovered that Ramirez served 10 years in a Honduran prison for homicide and three years for robbery. Ramirez claimed he traveled with the migrant caravan from Honduras to Guatemala and Mexico. San Diego Sector Chief Patrol Agent Rodney Scott said, it was Border Patrol agents' effort and valued partnership with the Honduran Consulate in Los Angeles that helped us identify a dangerous convicted felon moving amongst the migrant caravan. The other two men arrested, ages 22 and 38 were Honduran nationals. One of those men was previously deported. All three men are being held in Department of Homeland Security custody pending deportation proceedings. To prevent the illicit smuggling of humans, drugs, and other contraband, the U.S. Border Patrol maintains a high level.